Good evening. Good evening. And we are going to show a bunch of cards tonight from the leadership thing. We just got back from New Orleans. So this was our cute little stamp it up bag filled with goodies. What's your favorite thing in here, Tim? Yeah. So, you know, just. Um... I'm going to keep you, keep you cool. <laughs> I know. It's, so, so that is pretty funny. <laughs> yes. Um, but we had a wonderful time. Tim did a whole lot of walking. He set a new a new record in walking. Personal best. Yes, personal best. What? How many steps did you do? Um, just about, just about sixteen hundred. Just about seven. No, thousands. Twenty five thousand. Or oh, 25,000. 25, 25, See, just he needs about me 26, to. He needs me to. Yes, he needs I, me to I brag always, on him because I can't remember the numbers. But I don't he had brag done, about uh, my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He had done 20,000 in Hawaii, but I thought it's good to just send him off on his own because we can't walk together very well because I walk fast and he walks slow, but he could go meander the whole day and get all those steps in. So how cool is that? It was very cool. Yes. And I learned a lot. It was so fun to be in person again and celebrate with people. So that is all wonderful. So a couple of quick announcements. Oh, I know what we're going to start with first. Last Monday night before we left... I shared cards from my team. And whenever I share from the team swap, I have you guys go vote on your favorites. So I'm going to show the top four. Okay, these are the winning four cards. And then I'm going to share the list of three names of the people. Uh, it's you that voted. Your names are put into drawings. Not the people who made the card. You know, they, they get their own honor from doing this. So anyway, in number four is Kathleen Wilkins. And everyone loved how striking this is in black and white. And then that, just that little touch of red. Is that cool? It is beautiful. And then in number three was this bright fun. I just love the colors she's used here. And this is Lori Born Trigger. And she did the inside too. Really a gorgeous card in there. Number two with the cute little trolls is Holly Sutton. And this is one of the folds we did recently. Is that just adorable? Look how cute that is. And notice, I do a lot of fussy cutting of these trolls, but look how cute that is just cut out in a square. So see, you don't need to be a fussy cutter like me. Although I hear from more and more of you that you fussy cut while watching TV. And in number one, da -da 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 -da, Lori Born Trigger. Do you realize this is her second in the four cards? She placed first and third because we could do two cards. And people loved the unusual colors of this. How soft it was and there were so many comments like oh my goodness such interesting colors for an autumn card so uh oh i keep saying trolls thanks you know do you guys ever do that when you make a mistake once you can't get it out of your head <laughs> the gnomes yes the gnomes and we're going to be showing gnome cards tonight so i better get it right so the three people and each of these three got a message for me right from my because this is on my blog so i could message you right there carlos han and techley and pat peller all got a message for me to just uh, email me your address and I'll pop your little gift in the mail. So, and then the other announcement, this is the end of August. I cannot believe it. Wednesday is the last day. Two more days to get. This is. So, so Karen, are they gnomes or trolls? They're gnomes. They're gnomes. Yeah, they're gnomes. So I mess it up. Gnome, you, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> These are two of the three cards you get in the card kit for me this month. I And this is also, you can get this die cut free with a $100 order. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, I love this card kit. And then the third card is this one. And then you also get, in addition to the PDFs and everything for these three, you get three more cards. So that's always fun. It's also the very last two days that you can get this. And the only way you can get this is to get the starter kit. So just let me know if you're interested. And I think that's it. I think we are good. Okay. So let's move it down and start looking at cards. I just love looking at cards. So we're going to start. Tonight we're going to do things from the mini catalog. Next week I'm going to share card swaps from the big catalog. And that will be kind of fun because we'll take a break from doing, you know, this is more like autumn Christmas. We'll take a break from that and do just other cards. So I think that will be kind of fun. So we're going to start with, I just put a few in here, the ones that I have a whole bunch of cards with. So as I have a lot of cards tonight. So we're making up for last week when I only had 12. So we're starting in the middle or Soft the end? seedlings. Well, we're starting with kind of autumn. Autumn. As we work oh, our way to Christmas. But season. soft seasoning seedlings on page 53. Do you want any help or not? 
And I think these are some beautiful cards. This is Suzanne Taylor. This is done with the baby white technique. Remember, you know, if anyone, you know, I know I've done videos on that, but I think look how soft and pretty that is. Is that just a pretty autumn color? And that thinking of you across the top, I think that's just is. stunning. Has anyone else noticed that this, this number is just begging, begging to be shared? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's just begging. it's the last two days to use this code too. And you can always find it at KarenTitus.com, but it's the last day to use that code because <laughs> there will be a new one on Thursday. <laughs> I'm on live. Okay, September. Okay, and then look how cool this is done that way too. So we have the variegated colors and look how simple and elegant that turn, is. Turn that up so it, it looks, it's a little fade. There's a little. I do what a what? Oh, just move it no. around. Uh, okay, this is Kathy Winter. And I think these are beautiful. So if you notice, this is one stamp. This is stamped several times and then splattered. So we get just some very different looks. And then this is gorgeous. So for a completely different look. We have this where it's stamped in black and then sponged. So how pretty is that? So it's like a silhouette on this beautiful sponge background. And this is Stephanie Flap. So I think those are really cute. Much better. And Frances is on here celebrating good news on her scan today. Yes, that is fabulous. We're celebrating with you. That is just the best. Another one that we will look at next is the... Autumn Rustic Harvest, which is on page 49. So these next few cards are from this. So I think this is really a fun card. Look at this, Tim, a white velvet pumpkin. You know, Ooh. I've seen Ooh. those and more like, um, like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Sometimes, you know, you've just seen them where they've done on those other surfaces. And do you see how this like glittered? Um, so it's actually just done a glimmer paper. It looks to me like it's kind of more of that soft so I couldn't kind of tell what it is, but that's really pretty. And there's black and white with pumpkins. You are such a blessing. It's really a totally different look. And this is Anna Hellman. I think that is really cool. Very nice. And then this gorgeous one does not have a name, but we've got the split dies there, the pretty paper mm. and the pumpkin. And it now just did at, not have a name. Look at these two pumpkins, how different they are. Yes, and this is stamped and then die cut. These are just the die cuts. But now look at this one. This is stamped, same stamp, but look how different it is. Mm. So this would be stamped on white and then colored in. Yeah. So how cool is that? So all these different looks, and I love how she's colored this. you got the dark parts and the light part. And then there was, I also wanted to point out on this card, and this is Frances Wagner. You know, a lot, I often do strip cards, but I loved what she did with the strips. That's a little unique. You know, we'll often just do like three strips. Do you see how she's got one going off the edge there, one off the edge there, and then a small one in the middle that doesn't meet the edges? Very nice. So, you know, you can always, as I talk about these, you never know what's going to show up on Thursdays. Although I'm going to tell you tonight what's going to show up on Thursday. Yeah. Can I just say that this would match that the rest of the card, but it is, it's perfect to have a bright, yeah, but you bright could, orange. But you could switch you mm -hmm. could yeah switch things out but that that is pretty stunning with the yep. that right there and then this lovely one from sherry stokovich and this is it's got a belly band card and it's the mm. and it opens like that and so no, how cool no is place that to write oh you will you'd write in here with, you, with, over, over here you put over in here although that looks nice if you ever don't want to write Right on. See, I'd put a little white square, but otherwise you would just write in the back. If you want a private message, Tim. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And so then let's see. Together. And then the other one that we're going to do that's, um, this is that one that is on sale. And this is the one that is my, my um, card kit for the month. This is page 46. The Aspen Tree Dies and the Perched in a Tree Bundle. I absolutely love this set. I think this might be my favorite set in the catalog. So here's some more ideas. You've seen mine. And this is Hattie Nelson. Look how cool that is with just navy. Mm -hmm. And then a navy leaf and that yeah. brushed gold. I oh, just love. Nice. And the white. So a touch of gold. And otherwise it's navy and white. And then we have the gold accents. Isn't that stunning? Nice. I think that is just gorgeous card. And then check out this one from Pat Shepard. Look at her inside too. But look how cool that is. Now we've got the deer here and the leaves. And this is more paper from the Hues of Happiness. And two different colors in the background. Yeah, and it's all one paper. 
Really? Yeah. Do you see how this one Ooh. paper is variegated? Okay. Yeah. So it is similar to, let's show this card. It is, do you see how this yeah. is variegated? These are from the same paper pack, but they're different papers. You get a whole lot of different variegations on the backgrounds of these, and I just love them all. So that's pretty cool. And then we have this one. Look what a simple card mm. this is. And this is, this is, this is gorgeous. What a gorgeous winter card. And this is that free celebration paper. Last time to get it, these two days. Mm. But look how pretty that is. So what a simple card this it's is. Paper with a lot of bling. Yes, it's right in there. It's got silver and gold. So this is one of the silver ones. And then she's just added a little more bling. Magic is in the air. I think that is just a gorgeous card. And this is, um, do you know what? Hers is, ooh. Um, hers, I think, is on an envelope. If I figure that out later, I'll set it aside. Okay. And then we have one more. This one does not have the dies, but it's got, I just love this bird. And look at those pretty colors. And the leaves here, I think this is really beautiful. Love that. And that is Melba Peters. Oh, look, she put the bird inside there too. Ooh. I just love how she colored that. Penny, hi to your hubby who's watching with you too tonight. That's wonderful. <laughs> Diana yes, says she ordered those you. Aspen tree dyes. Yep, through celebration. They are absolutely fabulous. It is my favorite thing on the, those extra things you can get. And, you know, what a great opportunity to get them for free. Now I'm going to Can show I, you a few. Mm -hmm. I met some guys down in New Orleans that, that watch our show with their wives. So Yeah. Yeah. So it's very fun. Okay. This is Joanna Jones. And this is the apple. Now, the rest of these, I'm not going to show you in the book because they're kind of assorted ones. But keep in mind, this is one of, so the special starting in September is that there's just going to be while supplies last, I believe, some dyes to go with certain ones. And one of them is going to be with this apple thing. But I'll show all that on Thursday. <laughs> I was thinking it was a Georgia peach, but no, it's an apple. Uh, and then aren't these just gorgeous? Yep. And I have to show you, this is so cute. This was made in Normandy by a demonstrator from Normandy, Sonia Benedetti. And I'm going to read what she says. And I thought, you know, the reason I'm reading this is I thought sometimes it's so fun how we can make cards so personal and you can tell a story with your card. And it just reminded me of that. We could do that sometimes when, when we're sending a card to someone, like if there's, if there's something about them that we made the card for, I thought, what a fun thing to tie that in. But she's talking about how Normandy brings together an infinity of landscapes with the sea and the coastline, majestic cliffs, on and on, just all the thing it's famous for. There are over a thousand varieties of cider apples. Really? So is wow. that a cool thing to put in there? So I thought that was just really fun and personal. Okay. Next, we have this one. See, some of these are loose. And then this is Lisa Lemons. Oh, no, it isn't. So that other one might have been. Lisa Lemons, we're going, to, we're going to give her credit. Yes, This we is are. Belle Harder. And look how pretty this is. And we've got the stitched of whimsy going around there. And the pretty colors. I think that is just a lovely, lovely thing. And then we have the time for a cardigan from Jennifer Hill. And we've we've run into her relatives twice in the past. Her friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's yeah, right. Their friends. friends. Yeah, yes. Watch her. So, but how fun is this? These next two cards are going to use this gingham cottage paper, which I just love. And this is the time for a cardigan. I, like I think that. that is so. That is really a great card. And then this card uses the same paper. And this card is. Judy Anderson, hmm. you see how we've got the yellows? Now here we've got the wide red stripe, uh, oh. um, che checks, whatever, gingham. I love that. And here it's the flip side, which is a duller color. Here it's the same. We have this on one side and then this. Hmm. And she's added flowers and a little fun fold. But I thought this paper is dynamite. So I wanted to show that. Such yeah, we just walk around, it swaps it. Um, when we do big stamping up things, and that's also how we'll be doing it. We go to Indianapolis, which is for demonstrators. And um, and we're going to go a day and a half early so we can hang out with our downline. So if there's anyone on here that's given this any thought and you live in that area, keep that in mind. Call me. Um, get the start. I'm joining us. But we just walk around, too. That's how a general swap. When we do mail-in swaps, it's a very specific number. But when we walk around, what's fun about that is then we're also just chatting with people. So it's just very informal. And a great masculine card. When we go to places like Indianapolis, Tim actually does my card swaps. I kind of go find a place to sit and I love to chat with whoever 
comes by and wants to chat. And Tim likes, as you know, to go out and mix with people. So it's, it's just a perfect combination. So I think that's pretty fun. But keep that in mind. That is in November. And um, registration is open right now. But you need to get the starter kit to be able to go. So if that's at all, if you, I'll think about that. Let me know. Because the next two days, you still get this for free with it too. So just the bonus. I love this. This is in the same set as this cardigan. So it's all mm. kinds of fun little things. But I love these plants with the black and white piece right there. And then our friendship will live forever. You know, I like, unlike most of the plants I've owned. <laughs> I think that's great. This is Jennifer Olay. And I just love the colors of that. I think that's just really, you know, this is that bright the parakeet. And mostly it's not parakeet in here. I was just noticing these are much duller colors in here. But that bright color below it really sets it off, doesn't it? Does. it? It's, very so nice. it's just kind of interesting because then we have all kinds of different colors in there. So um, how many is that a bunch of stamps or what is that? It is one stamp. One stamp. Yep. So really cool. a cool stamp. This one I'm showing um, because this is mostly from the main catalog, but this is Carrie Biglow. But I want to show it again because it's that same paper from the cottage that's only in this autumn one and this decorated with flowers. So you could use this for anything. Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. Here's a card I just love, and this is from the celebration paper. So I had to show this quickly tonight. This is from Donna Singleton. This is the free, one of the free choices in celebration also. It's the rings of love or whatever that is. And look at this paper that's in it. And do you see how she's done the... These are different little cut mm, things, mm. but that's a very muted soft paper. And then she's run it through the evergreen, oh, this I evergreen see. embossing Af folder. Afterwards. And is that gorgeous? That is. I think the texture and the colors on this card and, you know, and it's really a very simple card. So that is very mm. cool. Very and cool. then next, I, I love this. Here we have a strip card again. You know, I, I'll never get tired of strip cards. Look how these are long, skinny strips mm -hmm. done this way. And then the gold metallic. That is so fun. And this is um, Jackie Gothier. I, I know I don't spell it right, but um, I believe she's from Canada. But I just think that that is so pretty. And I, oh, well, this is really interesting because I was thinking this was hers, but obviously isn't. It is hard to keep them straight because, you know, I take a picture and I do all this, but this is Jackie's card. <laughs> okay. So that might be another missing one. So they might go to the wrong people for credit. Susan Camfield, and look at this fun pullout card. So it's a small card in the middle of this bigger card. I love that. I think that is just really lovely. Very cute. That is gorgeous. And then we have, this is Sacha Wilson. Love these little acorns. Uh, are these acorns... Are they from the Aspen dyes? I'm not even sure which ones these are from. I should have looked that up, but I just love this with the, these papers. And she's done this as a get well card. I really love those little dyes. I think that is just really. No, they're from the oak tree. <laughs> I have to look that up because I'm just not really even sure where that's from. But that is beautiful. And then this one, look at this. These dyes from the rings of love, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. And mm. all these fun little dyes here. I think that's just gorgeous. And this is. Rebecca Santos. Now you want to see a sneak peek of what we're going to do on Thursday. So I'll let you know what you need. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I had some cards already made and set aside. So this is what we're going to do. So here's my belly band and it's going to be this easy fun fold card like this. And this, this one is from Rachel Kuhn. So I will be putting up a supply list and you know, I love to have you create along with us on Thursday. So this time you're getting a sneak peek and I'll put that up there, so which will be really fun. Pull that back out. Mm -hmm. Is that not square? It does it kind of come to a no? Do you see how it looks like it's an arch? See, it looks like it's an it looks more like a Starbucks coffee cup almost mm -hmm. kind of container, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But it's arched like that, and it looks difficult, but it's really, really not. So, we're gonna have fun making those together. So, I'll put the supplies up for that, and then we're gonna move into Christmas cards. Um. So then we have the storybook gnomes. Had to show this because I got a lot of cards in this. This is on page 43, and these are just so many cards. We will be in Indiana. I will be putting it up there, and we will 
um, have a time that we could meet other people in the area that won't be attending because we always love to do that. You know, we love to meet our followers. So, okay, I uh, love this card. <laughs> And you know what? This has no name. So if anyone does know, tell me. But I love how she's watercolored this. And I love, look how she's done the houses behind Very on nice. that die cut. So it's like they're in a village and then they're right there. Now I would, and I guess this does, it's a gingerbread house. So this would have to be Christmas. Otherwise I look at a card like this and I'd make it a birthday card just because I send out says, uh, religious Christmas, Christmas so. cards. But yeah, yes, but you could change the yeah. words on a lot of these because I think these are, Adorable. What are they again? What are they, Tim? What are they? Gnomes. <laughs> He's going to quiz me so I never say it wrong again. <laughs> no, I already forgot. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I say that you can tell, uh, sometimes a new person will want to color everything in. And as you get more artistic with things, they always say to leave white space. And I'm no artist, so I'm the first, but I'm always loving to look at what people do. But you can see these bits of white there it really adds, doesn't it? The whole shading and the shading and the braids. So I just love to point that out because I thought that is really cool. Very nice. And then these are the dyes. I think these dyes are just totally stinking cute. This is Kimberly Gora. <laughs> so to go to New Orleans, this was just, this was Stampin' Up! does a, one thing for all demonstrators in a year, and then they do another for leadership. So this was the leadership one. There were like 500 of us, and you needed to be silver elite to go there. So I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of you, but just to kind of tell you this one was all business. And the other one, when we go to on stage is a whole lot of, you know, stamping and ideas and creativity. So it's just, and I love both. And I just love that there's a choice here, both, but I think this is so cute. The red and the gray, and then the trees, you light up the season. I did. Yep. I did tell that one. And then here at the die again, this time done as a Halloween, Halloween card. <laughs> We've got the purple and the Halloween egg going on. <laughs> so I just love how you can take things and do other things with them. This is this is stamping with Rosie. So I think those are really cute. And then stinking cute. Stinking cute. And then we got to show, I'm gonna show these side by side because look at the difference in the coloring. I wow. love this one too. Look at the red beard or orangey red beard. Yep. Does this look Irish, you know, with the, oh, the totally, and they've got the oh, three leaf clover green, yeah. and the greens. How cute is that? These are both so cute. And I love how you can change your colors and totally change the whole feel. So that is just awesome. And this one is Gina Connor and she is from Ireland. So Ooh. how cool is that? I just love that when people do something kind of reflects she their should area. Know. Yes. So that is really cool. That is very authentic. And then we have, uh, pick this up. I just dropped a bunch of cards. Okay. I had to show separately to the Christmas Scotty bundle. And some of these are Christmas. So I left it as Christmas. Now, personally, when I make cards with the Scotty, I'm not making Christmas cards. I will use these for other things. So I use the, you are always loved and the woof. I'm not going to use the others, but that's just me. So I love when stamps can do multi-purpose and if well for sure if you have dogs like this what a perfect christmas card that would be so we're going to point out a few things here i love the colors on this this is oh and look at how she did the inside how cute mm -hmm. is it Susie brunk and and this is a stamp in there so she's just stamped that on red and notice there's no stamping here this is just the punch and the punch your days be furry and bright and then <laughs> this one and look at this one so cute too virginia kilmore do you see how they both have this yeah. And look how this one was not stamped, just punched. This one was stamped and then punched. So you have the white yeah. line and you have the eyes and the bow. The, and they are both adorable. They are. I love. I think those are just absolutely just both wonderful. And then we'll go into this one. We'll keep showing these kind of. So here we have black and white. And here we have that bigger gingham paper again. And this is that same background, but this time done in gray. This woof. is all like the blacks and grays. So we've got the woof. And Darla Morris. And now this would not be a Christmas card. This, they've done these as a Christmas card using these. But do you see how both of these would be totally cute if they just said, I love you, happy birthday, thinking of you. They could be anything, mm -hmm. which I think is so cute. Same could this one. So this is just like a stepped up version. This is Marsha Gay. And I, I love mm -hmm. how she's got this stitched whimsy on the back there. And this is where you have the 
half front card and it closes up like that. It's very, I like that. Yeah, it's very, very stylish. And then we have one that is punched out of, out of, a, well, it was that stamp, that middle stamp. By the way, you could do it out of designer series paper, but how fun is that? And this is Carol Sanderson and it opens like that. So that's pretty fun. Okay, we have two cards with the Yeti. I love this winter wishes and holiday hugs. Now, again, this one I would do for birthday or something or winter wishes. I love that he's holding that heart and we've got these trees in the background. Is that fun? And notice how the coloring is just around the outside of the Yeti. Mm -hmm. He's not colored in. It's just that shading. And this one is Janice Waitman. And then we have this one. Sandy Reese, and how cool is that? Is it Christmas yet? <laughs> Do you see how he's holding the gifts? And we've got the same background, and now we have green here. And again, if you left off the tree and added another present, again, this could be a birthday card. <laughs> so I just think, how fun are these? And oh, look, they both colored them the same way. And that one has a she, um, scarf. Yes, yep, this one has a scarf added and a little tucked in. So she would have cut... This part out right here to tuck the gifts right in. Because see, that's just flat mm. right there. But I think those are both mm. adorable cards. Just really, really cute. The acorns are from the Ringed with Nature bundle. Thank you, Melissa. I had not checked that out. Okay, now we have two cards from this bundle. Diane Mangles. Brightest Glow bundle. And this is the die. And if you can see, we've got this brushed gold kind of behind. Can you can you see that, Tim? Yep. So it's kind of showing through. This is the book binding fold. That is very... And I think very what an elegant classic. card. This is such an elegant stamp set. It is. And so this one too, this is the tree and you've got things that show through and this and this opens like this. And they do bump up. Yep. And this one is Davida Lepke. And I think they are just both beautiful cards. Okay. This one is gorgeous. The Christmas Wishes bundle, and look at how it opens like that, and then opens like that. This is Michelle Haney, but I love that. And I just think that is very, very stylish. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one, with the Merry Christmas, we have the pine cones mm. and the leaves coming out and the music in the background. I think that's really lovely too. And this is Tyla Darley. Aren't they really pretty? They are. And then I have some that focus kind of, oh, let's see. Oh, this is, now I love doing more religious cards for Christmas. So look, this one fits the bill. How pretty is this? Silent night, holy night. Isn't that pretty? And just kind of the background there. We have the two shades of blue and this, this is a no name too. Now I have a few that kind of focus on more the paper. So if you notice, this is paper here. We're going to open this up. This is Deborah LaFontaine. And that's really cool. Oh, I like that. What, so yeah. this is just a piece of paper? It's just paper. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's very smart. Yeah. It is a very smart. And she, I often cut these off. You'll see me if so we cut a part off. But she folded this over. And then do you see how you can stick a gift card in there? See? Mm -hmm. So now we have a great little gift card holder. Okay. Yes, Carlos Hahn, you did. You did hear your name. So message me. You you do get something from me, which is pretty fun. Kim Williams. So this is from the Lights of Glow paper, whatever that paper's called. Mm. And then just a punch again. Or is this one? This one must be a die. Or is this one the punch? I don't even remember. But this is a punch. So it's always fun to have new punches that work with words. Little bubbles have little depth of field. Yeah, they do. It's a bokeh look, they call it. Okay. But it really does, doesn't it? That's nice. Mm -hmm. And then we have Michelle Rushing. I think this is cute. This is those trees in the background. So it's a very bright color. It's Tahitian Tide. And then she's just used a pretty little tag to be her accent piece with the trees. So that's mm -hmm. really fun. Yeah, dear is a punch. Okay, I thought it was. So thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oh, and Tim, check this out. This is that same paper that you were commenting that oh, you yeah. liked. This is um, Jody Carlson uh, with just all those gifts. Isn't that fun? And then tis the season to be jolly. I like that. Isn't that fun? A little hat put on there. 
This is one with Strictly showing the paper. Jody Reinert. This is from the Host Set Designer Series paper. It's a great big paper pack. And I think this is really fun. I love these gift things. I love the black background. It just makes a very striking background. And notice how she just has her words across the top. So very simple card. And then we have these two. Evelyn Roseboro. Okay, I'm going to show these two side by side and because they're the same papers. And then this one is Wanda Williams. And you're going to notice these are both from the poinsettia paper and two gorgeous ways. You could mass produce cards like this really easily. So look how cool that is just down the center. And then the words are there. And then the three strips and the words are there. And these words look totally oh, different. Yes, look at that. She's added a little thing, but those are the same. Good yeah. noticing. So isn't it fun to just see people change? This what they're doing a ribbon running through it yep like a river runs through it yes. so a ribbon okay. runs through it so we get to we change that up and here we have jingle all the way and this is mindy fisher and that's just a cute stamp set with the jingle all the way so that goes through here we have celine kempton and look at these little strips little narrow strips mm -hmm. with v cuts at the ends little christmas greetings and the, this if you notice how many guards are using this background with the trees, there it is again in white. Yep. Really makes a lovely background for Christmas cards. So that is wonderful. And then, Did you say who that was from? Well, Julie, it's fun to know that uh, your sister. I know Jackie Noble. That how fun is that? Yep, I said who that was from. Okay, here's a really cute one. Those are like cute. Oh, th this one's really cute. And this is. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nikki Barnhart. <laughs> so for you animal lovers, look at that, the cat and the dog <laughs> to the North Pole. Isn't that just cute? Done in a Z fold. Happy gift dropping season. <laughs> a fun card to give to someone who's a little harried in life at Christmas. I think that's really stinking cute. <laughs> and then this one, this goes with that, you know, it's got the little snowman and all of that, but isn't this pretty just alone, the die cut, and you could put any words in here. So this is done as a Christmas card, but it could just as well be for a winter birthday, a sympathy card. I just think anything, because this just makes a lovely little background for that. So I think that is. The tree background is from a die cut, uh, not a die cut, but an embossing folder. If someone would do me a favor and put the name, the page that it's on, let's see, it should, well, it should be in the back. So let's see. Um, but, um, let me see if I can find right here. Whimsical Woodland. Page, page one. Yep. And then you'll see it on page 39. And so you'll see it here. Do you see on this card, you just ink part of your embossing folder in white and run it through and then you're going to get a look like that. So it's really cool. So it stands alone. It's an embossing folder. So that's really cool. And um, oh, and here it is. Here it is again with the trees. And I was just saying, you know how you add some ink and then run it through? So here's an example. Mm. How pretty is that? I like So that. very merry and how simple and lovely. Yeah, I love this. This And this is Akima Gary. That is beautiful. And the last two are snowflake cards. I think these are so fun. This is Natalie Travis. I just love when you see other colors. I'm going to put these side by side. This one is Amy Wilson. I want you to notice her inside too. Totally different looks, but we have the same. Do you see this large stamp? So here it's embossed and then just lightly blended over. Mm. So it's like a soft mm -hmm. winter sky. Isn't that pretty? And here it's just in different colors. This looks like rich razzleberry and fresh freesia. Would that be right? But isn't that fun? Yeah. I mean, it's totally, totally different looks. So you guys, thank you so much um for spending this time with us so i you saw what we we're gonna do on thursday i'll put directions up and i'm home if you have any last minute questions about this month about wanting to get the starter kit or getting an order in call me for help i will be here and thank you everyone and have a wonderful evening see you on thursday goodbye